everybody, it's Carrie with GoingToFlippinCrazy.com. You see that? It's freezing out here. <laughs> I'm at the Wyndham Skyline Towers, I think that's what it's called, in Atlantic City, New Jersey. You can look behind me. You can see all the casinos, Taj Mahal, resorts, showboat, everything's out there. Anyway, I figured I would bring you ATM video vocab episode number three today since I'm in Atlantic City filled with casinos. Um, the topic today is going to be niche locations. Um, basically what a niche location is, it's in a location that you can charge a higher surcharge. It's a, uh, a location like a casino um, or a touristy area like in Provincetown, Massachusetts or any touristy type of area like New, or New Orleans, the French Quarter, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, or a gentleman's club, you know, any type of um, special type of location that's not your typical location, like a convenience store, or a gas station, or a restaurant, all right? So a casino, gentleman's club, um, even hotels, even, even um, certain restaurants and stuff in touristy areas, like a a hotel in let's say Atlantic City or um, New Orleans like in the French Quarter or, or you know what I mean something like that you get my drift it's just not a typical location um, you can get away with charging higher surcharges like I said the gentleman's club that we have it's seven bucks the surcharge I've heard of people that live in Vegas that there are crazy surcharges out there like over ten dollars <clears throat> um, actually we went to the casinos this past weekend and I was kind of surprised the surcharges weren't even that crazy they were three dollars and fifty cents and our uh, hotel surcharge was only two dollars so the casinos I think they can definitely get away with charging a little bit more uh, I think the Foxwoods casinos in Connecticut charge a little bit more uh, but anyways that's what a niche location is um, if you find niche locations consider yourself very lucky because a lot of times they're few and far between and you gotta kind of work your way into them, you know, because a lot of them already have ATMs, so it's going to be a little work for you to get in there and replace the current ATM owner. But if you get in there, it's well worth the effort because the surcharges are so much higher that you're going to get a huge bang for your buck. All right, this is Carrie with GoingToFlippinCrazy.com, and stay tuned for another ATM video vocab. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.